Tac. Tac. Seems like it. Welcome back. Good to be back. I wonder what happened. My internet didn't go down. Uh, I heard a weird sound. I think it was Streamlabs telling me that we disconnected. And that was that. And then it was trying to reconnect for a while. Well, I guess let's continue. Um, so what's the most clean way to break up these pipes, I wonder? Uh, if this is different, then we could do this a bit better, maybe. What if we do, like, a seven over here? Oh, we could do three sevens there. Yeah, I like that better. And then this could be one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, that's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have actually connected that yet, but whatever. And then we need water. Um, probably like this. That's a fine, I suppose. We need to make solid rocket fuel. We need to send up satellite telemetry. Um, I'm pretty sure the only way to send that up is a rocket. In fact, I'm positive. And the rest is already here. Oh, we also need empty barrels. I think it would be better to just use the steel that we've already got. Rather than sending empty barrels specifically. So I'll do that. And something like this. Uh, are we going to be taking from the belt? Yes, of course. Let's save our wire because... I mean, we've got infinite if we do it this way, but I don't want to go for the muscle memory at some point and find out I have nothing. Read hand contents pulse to condition. And then that can go straight in here. I don't imagine there's going to be too many things that need barrels, but we can always change it. And then we need rocket fuel. Uh, Vulcanite block is obviously not going to be a problem. It's already on the sushi belt. Read hand contents pulse, no condition. Belt, belt. Already getting, already getting. We need to make and put it on the belt, and we need to send up with a rocket. Uh, let's see. Where should we make rocket fuel? We're going to need another biochemical facility, right? Or no, we need... Um, in space exploration, we use... These... Uh, fuel refineries for this. I've already got some over here. That makes it nice and easy. These space pipes really need some work. It seems to never line up correctly as they do on Nalbus? What is Nalbus? There's, um, there's a mod that lets you do whatever kind of pipe you like, like you could specifically do a T intersection or a corner, and they don't connect to each other if you don't want them to. Nalbus is your planet. Yeah, I was wondering if that was a typo or not. Never get the name right, no worries. Okay, uh, let's see. Rocket fuel. We just need some... 
light oil, and then... Do we need to bother with the ratio for this? I think we're going to run out of input long before we need to worry about a ratio. Uh, it would be nice to not have to run the pipe too far. Should I have light... Okay, I'm pretty sure I counted, like, every fluid I could possibly want. And this is on all of these pipes, so... I shouldn't worry about just, like, keeping light oil over here or something. Although it's going to be pipe spaghetti no matter how I go about it. Which is a little unfortunate. Maybe for now we could just do rocket fuel over here and we'll wait and see if we need light oil for other things. That doesn't seem like the best plan. It seems like a very hopeful plan. Now let's put the rocket fuel machine right next to this thing, and it can skip the belt. Solid rocket fuel. Oh, we could make it out of vulcanite. Which is better? Well, currently we only get vulcanite out of core mining, and we get way more oil, so why don't we do it this way? It would simplify things, though. It's very tempting. Now nah, let's do... Let, let's make it out of... Uh, light oil. So now we just need to connect the light oil. Um, we could make this pipe light oil. Which means we need another underground over here. That's fine, I guess. And then change this one. Uh, we need a Niner. We don't have a Niner. Oh wait, a Nine won't actually connect, will it? Also, it doesn't reach, so... Does a Seven connect? I believe it does. Sorry, I'm dead tired. Had a 17-hour workday. Yikes. 17 hour workday yesterday, get a one ton transport belt four meters up in the air and through a tiny hole. That sounds difficult. That's an even number, isn't it? Yeah, let's just do an underground. Okay. So this is going to be uh, light oil. I almost said heavy. I think we could probably stand to do it through here. Like this, maybe. Oh. Uh, that's fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Why does it think that would mix fluids? Because it would mix fluids. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Whoops. I could swap these around. Do a seven. Okay. So then we need like a, so seven, eight, nine, plus three. Uh, do we have a nine? Probably not. 
could probably do it like this. I could have made that a three if I move this over. Might be better. Oops. Wait, no. This this was in the right place for a three already. It is one less tile that can connect to its neighbors. It might prove useful. Okay, light oil needs to connect here. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Seven or nine. Uh, how about this? That's no good, actually. So, make this a three, I guess. Either way, it doesn't match one of our approved numbers. That's going to connect, isn't it? Yeah, it has side connections. The text says so. Okay. Move this down as well. And then like so. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make it seven. Maybe make it nine. No, make, it makes no difference. Make it seven. And then... Wait, is that not connected? Oh... Well, that's easy to fix. There we go. All right. What else? Uh, I would really like to see that pipe delivered. We're actually loading labs. Oh. Oh no. I forgot one minor detail. We're still waiting on the um, space pipe to ground before we load anything here because of these filters. So all of this is just getting put in the in the active provider chests and immediately being removed. Uh, why do we still not have enough space pipe to ground though? Because it's very slow, actually. Um, it's actually only finished a hundred and a thousand and eighty products, this thing. Okay. Why don't we just reduce the number of... We only need 40 more, though. But we should definitely... I was going to say we should change this back to anything, but as soon as we get 40 more underground pipe... Um, suddenly we're going to be able to pick all this stuff off. Whoops. I should really remove that alone. There we go. Okay. So the pipes will be here relatively soon. So we got light oil coming down this way and into here and then 
Solid fuel go here, rocket fuel go here. How quickly do we use rocket? A hundred seconds. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can make one rocket fuel in a hundred seconds. Yeah, this is one per second. It's going to go at one-fifth speed. That's way more than enough. Okay. Uh, so that just leaves satellite telemetry, which we will need to set up a regular rocket for. Um, why don't we put you right about here? Actually, there's no reason not to have it closer. And we'll have one of these. Uh, adding to the belt. And then... I suppose we don't... Yeah, no, we don't need, like, buffer chests or anything for these ones. Um, so this is going to be... Novice Orbit Satellite Planetary. And we should set up a automatic launch for that. Um, how did we set this one up? I think we're just transmitting what we're requesting. One times 100k. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. That's a pretty good way to do it, actually. So I'll put this here, I think. Move this one over. We can put a pair of these next to each other. Actually, no, I don't want the wire, like, crossing this entire thing. So, let's see. We'll connect... Uh, green wire to here. Depends where we want to do the logic. Move this up a bit. Um, satellite telemetry. If everything equals zero. Actually, we're not going to need any like circuit logic here. We just need to point a rocket at this cargo landing pad. Nelvis Orbit Satellite Telemetry. Um, it's going to have a fixed set of requests. Let's see. Telemetry. What's the stack size? 50? So 50 times 500 is 25,000. Uh, Tell them 25,000. And it begins. And we don't actually need a signal for this one. Because we don't have to tell it what to send up, and it just knows that the um, the landing pad is empty or not. So we're just going to say launch on cargo full. That was easy. That was shockingly easy. So we don't need this. Um... We also don't need filter inserters to take this stuff out, but I wonder if I wonder if we want to prioritize. Oh no, wait, that's fine. We do want filter inserters actually. Um, so for this one, the whitelist is telemetry. 
and enable disable. Uh, let's just say telemetry less than 100. Cool. That should do it. And I should probably put performance mode back on because UPS is looking sad. Just tuned in and the first thing I see is usual SE fluid bus from hell. <laughs> Thank you, Simrock. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay. So that'll be satellite telemetry. And as soon as we have 25,000, how much do we actually have in storage, I wonder? Um, nowhere near that much. Apparently we don't have any more. Did we stop launching satellites? I guess so. Um, heat, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do remember removing this for resource reasons a long time ago. And we didn't actually have a use for the telemetry, kind of, for a while. Uh, but now things are a little bit different. I wonder if I could... Nope. Can I maybe... I can't do a module planner from here. Get some productivity modules in there and some beacons. Okay. Wait, we've got like 200 just sitting here as well. So we need to output that. Um, how about a passive provider chest? Should we make it a... probably should make it a buffer chest. A Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Telemetry. If you click the module inserter button bottom right, it'll give you a new module planner. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay. And then we just set that to... Oh, it's got all my settings as well. That means I don't have to use a inventory slot for this. Okay, satellite rocket silo, satellite probe rocket silo. I presume this is just satellite rocket silo. Okay, productivity modules and go. Fantastic. And let's give it some speed as well. Thank you very much, Morpheus. Much appreciated. Works in nav satellite mode as well. It sure does. Alright, so obviously it's still going to take a while before we reach uh, 25,000 uh, satellite telemetry. But the good news is that will no longer take until the heat death of the universe. You're welcome. Took me too long to figure that out as well. Yeah, there's a few things like that, definitely. So that means I just gained... Uh, can I, like, delete this? Yeah, so that... Uh-oh. Did I... No, I don't want to respawn. Thank you. Did I just lose all my settings? Oh, I could have saved it somewhere. In any case, I don't need to carry this around, I don't think. Let's just, um... I just want to test this real quick. Uh, we can make this go here and save. Space assembly. Three, three. Okay, so then get rid of this.
Oh, it's got it. Still. That's weird. Whatever the case, it looks like I don't have to keep one of these in my inventory, so that's good. So bots can insert modules, nice. Yep. Yeah, normally in vanilla, if you wanted to do that, you would have to do something like physically put these in here, remove this, paste that. It's very annoying. The mod just lets you insert modules after the machine has been placed already. Yep. Will they be saved to a blueprint? They always are saved with a blueprint, yes. Although I don't think, um, if I blueprint this, yeah, I still can't add modules to this by using a blueprint. Otherwise we wouldn't need this mod, although it could still make it more convenient. Okay. How much? Uh, we're down to 10k. That is still a lot. I didn't mean to get rid of my life support thingy. Oh, there we go. I can get it back like that. Okay, cool. We've only got 12 hours left. Gotta watch out. Alright, so where were we? Uh, we figured out how we're going to get everything here. I think that's it. I think that is rocket science. And it only took up like a quarter of our, well, on the inside, quarter of our sushi belt spacing. We could always make it bigger. Okay, cool. Uh, we need to actually get all of these resources working with the cannons downstairs. But before I go back, I really want to build the rest of those labs. Um, it looks like we're now waiting on seven length. Oh, we are inserting some of them. That's good. So hopefully we're now actually... Getting a bit closer. We want like a thousand of each... Oh, there we go with the nines. It's like a thousand of... Five hundred of each of these, one line. And... Really? Wait, what did- what limits did I set on these? 50? What? That's no good. Oh no. I should have just set these to fill up the chests. Or at least like 2k. Uh, 2,000. Also, why did I set the conditions on both of these? Well, that's easily solved. 2,000. Although... I probably should be letting these stop at like 50 each until we get the 9s and 15s actually. It's going to take its sweet time. How close are we? Not close at all. Maybe I should just ask for fewer pipes this time. How many have we got? 
200. Let's make it 200 of each of these. They are the big ones after all. Why did we stop at 199? That's very odd. And this one is trying to do a 3B? Which it's never quite getting to because... Okay, let's end this madness. Back to one thing at a time. I don't think I saved any time by, like, keeping some of these items handy. Definitely not. Uh, the requests are not there, they're just... the bots are still bringing things. Still, I don't understand why... we have 199... Nine length straight pipe when the precise count worked for everything else. Oh, we've got a little bit less, um, fives and sevens as well. That's really odd. Okay, whatever the case, I just want this finished. Can we please send up the labs already? Apparently not. We're still trying to do the sevens. Alright, let's give it a minute. Um, except I've kind of done everything else for the moment. I'm just waiting to be able to drop more labs and then go back and fix all the cannons. Um, well, I could definitely set up I guess we could do another transmitter here for these two Move this over a little bit Might not need this one. And we'll do coal and ice here. We could always take from here to put onto the sushi belt as well, so that frees up another slot um, for these ones. Let's do red wire. Okay. Uh, just orbit all in ice. Um. Yeah, just read that directly. Actually, that's super easy. All right, let's set this up down here. Um, we'll do just a regular cannon. Request a chest. Power. Ice. Uh, we are going to need a... Should I, should I hijack this one? We're not using... We're not really using this anymore. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, stop that. Okay. Uh, we're going to want a delivery cannon capsule. 
Oh, we've got those here, actually. Won't have to burden the bots with those. So instead of connecting the wires to these two, we'll connect it to these two. If we ever get these delivered, there we go. Uh, so this one's going to be ice. Ice equals zero. Coal equals zero. And could have just used one logistic chest, but who cares? Coal. Let's make it 500 and ice. Actually, we're probably going to need to request coal and ice quicker than this, I imagine. We could take coal from the belt if we need to. Uh, 2000. We'll see how it goes. We need to give you a target, that being coal, and you need a target for ice. And then turn it on. And once that belt connects, that should be it. This should also be a stack inserter. Definitely. We need to, at full speed, we would need to do 200 items every 12 seconds. Uh, every 5 seconds, or rather. That's how long this recipe takes. Um, fast inserters and stack inserters have a rotation speed of 864 degrees per second. Uh, let's see. Is 2.4 rotations per second. 2.4 times 8. Uh, is 19.2 per second. We've got 5 seconds to do... 50, we can definitely do that, uh, for coal. Um, yeah, coal only needs one, but the... Oh, divided, 200 divided by this. Uh, that's not right. 666 seconds? I don't think so. Uh, 2.4 per second times 8 is 19.2 per second divided by 200 every 5 seconds. 200 over 5. 40. We need just over 2 stack inserters to go full speed with this um with this stack size. Alright, cool. Ow! What the hell? No, sh stop. Um, what? Now this orbit coal and ice. Uh, um, uh, ice equals zero, coal equals zero. So you shouldn't be putting delivery cannon capsules in. What? Did I not set this? I didn't set it. Okay. Well, there's your problem. Enable disable ice equals zero. Nervous orbit coal and ice. What is it receiving? Oh my lord. Please stop with the cannon shells. Please. Oh, it's on the red wire. Ah, I forgot about this. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, we just need to do exactly what we did before, but this has to be red wire. Let's get rid of the green, just so we don't leave something confusing. Okay. Minor detail. Whew. Recycling is pretty fast. I just recycled 51k square. Boys. How long does it take? Um... One second? One second. Okay. Speaking of which, we need a scrap recycler over here. I don't have one on me, of course. Uh, heat shielding and concrete. Should have concrete. We do not have concrete here. We definitely have those up here somewhere. Heat shielding and concrete. And recycling facility is where? There it is. Okay. Does it only have... Oh yeah, that's it. You can make landfill out of different things. Can you cannon landfill? No, I checked. That's right. This would have saved a lot of... This would have made it a lot more dense getting rid of resources. Okay. Uh, scrap. Scrap recycling. Oh, we can recycle space capsules. Maybe we should do that up here. That's actually a lot of stuff. And a thousand scrap, though? Still. Um... Rocket control units, what do we use that for up here? We could maybe launch more rockets from up here directly to get the telemetry. Or we could recycle the space capsules downstairs and that would kind of simplify things for us. By quite a bit, actually. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Okay, scrap recycling. Uh, sometimes makes heavy oil. So we need it to be able to get up here. Uh, or we just need our fluid bus to be able to take heavy oil. Uh, this one is light. If we make this one heavy oil, that doesn't actually connect to the main heavy oil. Um, I could maybe have it come out this way and then come down here. That's kind of bad. What if we just... I don't think there's a way to get a pipe through there properly. Okay. Heavy oil. It's in a really bad spot. A really, really bad spot. Could be worse. Pipe spaghetti go burr. I could do it through here. 
So that's light. This is heavy. Uh, fluid go up here. Move substation. Oh, this is powered now? Oh yeah, because it was one tile lower. Okay, that's cool. Um, don't really have room to do it this way. Unless we move these a little bit. Except then that would... Ah. What about... Not having a Robopod or... I'm going to want a Robopod to go there though, right? Oh, we can definitely skip one. That's fine. Alright. Let's move this back here just to be consistent. Put a wee baby uh, solar panel down. Why not? Alright. And then up here... Heavy oil. I wonder if... Hmm. We're going to have primarily heavy oil, right? Because of um, all liquefaction. I wonder if I should have a little separate storage for scrap recycling. Uh... Actually, why does the scrap recycling need to be here? Well, I want to, I want to have the hot, uh, heavy oil bus anyway, just in case we need it later. But we just need this to be somewhere. That should be pretty good. So this is heavy oil. Um, it goes there. Figure out how to use that one. I might just move this over this time. And then... That's almost good. Actually, we could use a 3B here. I actually hate the way that looks. Let's not do that. How about a fiver? Nope. How about an underground? That's not going to fit very well. Maybe the heavy oil should just come down this way. That might be better. Yeah, I think I like that better. It's going to be a lot less of a mess. Could do it down here. That's slightly upsetting. That's not too bad. And then something like this. It's bad. You can't do sushi pipe. What do you mean? Pipe is kind of like sushi by... Like, automatically. Okay, let's put that back. And then figure out what on earth we were doing to get light oil through here. Uh, I guess that was a 15er. Yeah, that makes sense. Mix all fluid into one pipe and then unmix it when needed. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't do it that way. Obviously. Alright, so that will actually... 
Uh, let's do it like this. Hold on, this has to connect. Uh, can we just move this down one? And then that can go there. That'll do. All right, so that's our recycling. Um, I'm also kind of tempted to put a storage tank to make sure we absolutely, almost definitely, will always have somewhere for the tiny amount of oil to go. I'll put a pump right about here. We'll maybe not have this one here. Or we could do like a horrible 3B over this way. This would be better. Not necessarily. Pump. I guess I could live with it. Okay. That's definitely an improvement. Alright, so where is our recycling facility? I thought I built one. Did I not? Where did it go? Went the tank output to the right? Uh, yeah, it would have, yeah. Was used for oil, only really manageable for short distances. I saw a setup that managed to share pipes between liquids, but I won't find it again. Oh no, so you have to like make sure the pipe's empty after each liquid is used? That sounds terrifying. Um, we will need another substation around here somewhere. And then... I honestly don't know where my recycling... I, I did make a recycling facility, right? Did I, did I just not do that? Also, I should probably get the sushi belt moving again. And I think maybe a balancer here would be better than moving it all to the left and then trying to move it all to the right. We'll see. Seriously though, what happened to my recycling facility? If I find it right after I craft another one. That would never happen. Alright, we need a smelter. Um, let's see. It's a... Uh, is it a plasma generator? It's, there was one building that I had to research that I made that can do smelting. This is not it. Plasma generator just generates plasma. Weirdly enough. Um, electromagnetics. Nope. It's not one of these. It's not that. Radiation facility. Thermodynamics, that sounds right. Oh, that's not it. Thermodynamics facility. I could have sworn I built one of these. Maybe I did not. Alright, let's make one. 
rip cosmic water. Uh, what do we need? Quite a lot of heat shielding and LDS, a whole stack of steel, and I don't think I brought a furnace. Can I make one by hand? Heat shielding, steel furnace, uh, regular stone. I think I remember doing this before, picking up five regular stone. I'm not going to do that this time. So I need a furnace. I need a better furnace. And I need the heat shielding back for a moment. And then electric furnace goes in here. They look very much the same as the laser ones, just a slightly different shade of red. Yeah. Uh, LDS, we've got furnace, chemical plant, just needs steel. I can't remember if we sent it up here. We did, fantastic. Okay. Yoink. And then right next to you. Oh, we have to set recipes. Boo. All right, iron, copper, and stone. Oh, oh, I'm not going to bother with the vulcanite blocks. This is literally just to... Well, maybe I should. Iron, copper, and stone. On the other hand, do we want to add extra stuff to the belt from the uh, waste that we have to dispose of? I think not. Okay, so... Why do we just do it like this. We'll need three decider combinators and a crafting combinator behind right. Uh, empty inserters hands, sure. Actually, We'll need to make sure we can get final products out of the overflow chest. So we'll do it like this, maybe. Iron, copper, and stone brick. If iron ore greater than zero, Output iron plate, copper, copper, stone, stone brick. Connect to the chest. Connect to the crafting combinator. And that should be it. And then we just need this to go back to the belt, and it's in the worst possible place to do that. Oh. I don't suppose... I need some belt. Let's go get some. What does a crafting combinator do? It sets recipes on machines. Hello, why not just shoot it back to Nalvis and deal with it there? Because it's so little, like, a, there's just a tiny trickle of stuff here. I'd rather just deal with it. 
Um, I would have to make a cannon and a cannon chest downstairs and either use a crafting combinator, which is tricky and dangerous with cannons, or use three separate cannons. So I think this is actually the simpler solution. Um, I would like to see if these will both output to the same side. They will not. That is actually really inconvenient this time. All right, fine. Wait, we can't underground this. Uh, fine. How dare you. This is going to be ugly. We'll need to count putting this stuff onto the sushi belt. And I don't think we'll bother checking the limits for these ones because it's going to be such a small throughput. So we'll just read hand contents pulse. Also, we would need three different conditions for each of these. Or we could do like a constant combinator with like negative 100 for each thing, set filters whitelist. But yeah, no, it's really not necessary this time. I solved recycling scrap with two space ovens, two splitters, and three chests. Well, this time we've got one chest, three decider combinators, two filter inserters, a crafting combinator, and two inserters. Um, does this take productivity modules? I don't think so. Nothing in space except for science takes productivity modules. All right, cool. Of course, I could have put this over here, but if we're going to have to belt this part out anyway, that should do it. It doesn't really matter if we keep crafting until zero, but... I prefer it behind right. Yep, that seems good. Let's give it a little save. Did my first ever connection between a circuit network and a train network this morning. We Nice. What are you using, vanilla? Okay. That took up more space than I realized as well. This whole thing is dangerously close to taking up way more space than I expected, at least to do just uh, rocket science. Speaking of rocket science, we need to get that over here. I said this before, but I do wish we could do filters on splitters that aren't super strict like everything else but a uh, rocket science pack will go to the left as opposed to the right. Um, we can always push everything to one belt as a priority and then take rocket science packs off of here. It'll have to do. And then red wire, read hand contents pulse, no condition, and this goes up this way. I think we can do underground past here. Yeah, just barely. All right. That should do it. Vanillas. So what was the first thing that made you decide I have to use a circuit network here? For the trains. Uh, 
we've actually got rocket fuel by now, no? Wait, why do we not have rocket fuel? Oh, because we don't have this pipe. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Are we ready to launch this thing? I think we are. Let's go before we end up... Um, needing to launch science. Also, don't forget to turn off these constant combinators and it'll just be set automatically when science is ready. On demand rather than just dumping things everywhere. Restocking outposts with repair packs, mines, etc. Ah yes. Is this a multi drop off? All right, here's our stuff. We're currently looking for room to get rid of the cargo rocket sections. I really wish I hadn't put so much stuff on the belt. Um, can we maybe move this out of the way for now? And I'd better take all of this other stuff. Pipe. 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 And a pipe. And then this. That is a lot of labs. Okay. Let's make ourselves some uh, space labs. Finally. Only a couple at the moment, but circuits are hard. Yes. Uh, they really do take some learning, especially at first. Uh, what do we got? Oh, I already made that. And my inventory is too full. Okay. Pull this back. Uh, what else? Lab time? Batteries, LDS, we need more, we need way more LDS. I should put a chest here. Alright, what are we missing? Mainly LDS. And some blue circuits probably wouldn't go astray. Oh, I was looking for the old satellite looking thing and it's just a big block of land now all right blue circuits fantastic batteries good uh take that space pipe oh and there's a bunch of rocket science packs here let's go deliver those before we forget So that puts us up to uh, just under 3,000 rocket science. We should be able to finish this one and then have quite a bit left over. Oh, but there's nothing else we can research for now. Okay. Uh, let's not forget what we came here for. LDS, that's a lot. And then, who knows what else? Batteries. Uh, 
That needs to be a stacky. Um, blues. I thought I had... There we go, batteries. Blues, batteries, big electric motors, only 10 at a time. Lots of LDS. I think I need to pick up big electric motors from here. I've definitely used a few since I got here. And then that should be it. That is 10. We're looking for 19. You know you can control click on an empty inventory space to insert all relevant input when an inserter is open. When an inserter is open? Do you mean like this? Uh, let me just take that. Oh yeah, okay, cool. I think someone showed me that and I forgot it. My bad. Sapulznia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And 20. I went over by one. Rip. Alright, let's uh let's drop these things. But make sure we put the productivity modules in. How many have we got? Twenty-one. That's not a very good number. This is 20. Oh, we can't fit substations if we do that. Uh, fine, we'll use medium poles. I guess. But then we can't put the stack inserter in the middle. So there's no nice layout for these. Oh well, what can you do? Stack inserters go here, then here. doesn't seem right. Alright. Is that everything? Our uh, go? Can one lab feed onto 19 more? Uh, not sure. I didn't put speed modules on them. Maybe I should have. And then we're going to need a lot more stack inserters. I really should have put... Oh, wait. We can't beacon here, can we? Um, nope, we can't. Okay, cool. So I didn't mess up there. I mean, even if I did, it doesn't matter. Oh well, we shall find out. Yes, indeed. And then I have one universal engineering train. It's always loaded with items any outpost might need. Also works as a trash train. That seems good. Seems inefficient to have them chained like that. I mean, we've got infinite power up here for free. Also, they're actually managing... Yeah, they're managing. And all of a sudden we can actually see the research bar moving again. I like how they sort of lose their minds for a little while between each 
Oh no, that's actually longer than I thought it was. Um, it's probably fine. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna bottleneck on the actual science anyway, that's the main thing. It kinda looks cool and weird when it does that wave like that. Just don't look at it anymore. <laughs> Wait, wh why not? I kind of like the sound of it too. Okay. So, all that's left is to add more things to get sent up via cannon and via rocket. Um... I think we're going to be waiting a little while for that 25,000 satellite telemetry. Uh, heat shielding is down to zip. We don't have heat shielding in the requesters. Okay, that might help. Heat shielding. I want to make this a high priority. Also, oh, we don't need that in the logistic network, I don't think. Either way. So, heat shielding is 500 on the way. Fantastic. Also, maybe make the pipe chests, etc. provider chests. Get the light oil going. Uh, sure. That's a pretty naive solution. Just some chests with wires and filter inserters checking them for item less than N. And this uh, the station checks if anything is asking for anything. Haven't tried the constant companies yet. That seems good to me. That's how you learn to do it, step by step. Oh, we're launching already. Fantastic. Let's see how quickly we're getting... Uh, rate calculator says... Rocket part? What? Oh, it's... So 1% every 0.8 seconds. So, like, a bit over two minutes for each launch, apparently. And then we get 200 satellite telemetry. That is uh, 13 launches before we send it all up into space. Uh, we're at 7, 8% already. Okay, that's kind of promising. Although, we'll see if we run out of heat shielding at this rate. Might actually have to get the train network to supply it. I should probably set up a rail block to do this. Um, but rather than worry about increasing throughput at this stage, let me just double check. Now there's all the satellite telemetry. Yes, good. Novus Orbit Satellite Telemetry. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, rather than worry about increasing throughput for things that already work, let's make sure we can actually get all of the resources that we need up here. The belt is already looking a bit more sparse. I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue. Maybe. I kind of like how this has a habit of moving everything to the sides. 
even without really trying to. We could always add a splitter over here to move this to the middle if we really have trouble outputting some of these. Why is... No, we're fine. Okay, cool. Let's go back, I guess. Oh, and yeah, we should make those um, passive providers. Might be rather a bit more convenient. It's nice to have oil fully automated up here, although we do have a limited supply of ice. Where can the cannons actually fire to? Could I set up a cannon on into orbit and beyond? Can I just use this to go to any surface? Do I have a planet with infinite ice as opposed to just a lot? Um, cryonite, that's what we're looking for. Nope. Nope. I think it's going to be further out, right? That's much iron. Holmanite, stone, uranium, iridite, beryl, uranium, vulcanite, vulcanite, vitamin, men, men, lunch. Are we going to run out of ice one day if we just play long enough? Still haven't found ice, but I'm stacking... Steel chests full of steel from recycling barrels from all the water I sent into orbit. Whatever can have prod modules, I'll always make it on the surface. Yep, definitely. Okay, so for now at least, we're definitely looking at moors as our supply of cryonite. Requires frozen terrain. Hmm. Let me just check. Um, oh, I think I need to not do it through the crafting menu. Yeah. Core fragment, uh, core fragment cryonite, they do exist. We might have to go interstellar to get it, though, it seems like. Alright. I'm 99% sure that we've picked up everything from here. Oh, that's in the wrong place. Why don't I just put you down here for now? Okay. I don't want to take a cargo landing pad back. And... Everything else, I think... Why do I have express belts? Oh, it was limit 100. Okay. Whoops. I should take some flat solar panels back. If I can. Apparently I cannot. How do we make solar pan? Well, we'll worry about automating this when we've got science fully automated with completely automated supply. And then we can finally start looking at another type of science.
It's actually going to take a minute. I'm not going to wait for it. Um, anything else? Don't think so. Let's put this back for now. Actually, I'll put a bunch of stuff in here just in case. Not going to have any shortage of it on the ground, that's for sure. We don't need turrets up here. I don't think I need assembly machines, but I think they're part of the recipe for... No, they're not. Give those back. I'll leave the miners, and then I don't have to take them next time. Accumulators, sure. Combinators. Concrete, brick, chests, all of it. Why not? Alright, let's head back. Just launched one rocket and started using mods. I struggle to find joy in playing vanilla when it feels like I beat the game. There's plenty of mods to give you a new challenge. That sounded weird. Oh, did they place all of these already? Fantastic. Alright. Space capsule... Go. What should we do now? Oh, we've still got ludicrous amounts of cryonite. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot you get 10 cryonite slush, and then... Can we productivity this? Oh, we, we are productivitying it. So without the prods... Um... Maybe we should make cryonite slush in space. No, we can't use any productivities for those. Um, in the biochemical facilities. One cryonite rod and some sulfuric acid makes ten slush. Ten slush makes a thousand... Well, no, ten slush makes ten ice. So with a productivity bonus of 24%, uh, that means one cryonite rod makes 12.4 ice, and we came back with 50k cryonite rods. Uh, 620,000 Nice. That's actually, unless I got my math wrong, that's actually a more frighteningly low number than I thought. But I might have messed it up because it looks like these are all still full. No, we came back with um, 500 stacks of 100. 50,000. Okay. How about we finish the cannons? I'm sure 40 will be enough. Do you have snow terrain on moors? Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of cryonite there. It is finite, but it is a lot. That's the one thing Moors has a ton of. Let's see. 3.6 million. Um, I guess that's the only one I tapped. Oh no, 643k remaining here. 321k. Um... 2.3 mil, 629k. It's a bit less than I thought, but it's still a lot. Yeah, I don't think we'll have a problem there. Could place a core miner there? Uh, I did. 
it doesn't give us, um, it gives us crude oil, um, for fragments, which turns into oil, stone, and regular core fragments. So we don't get any, um, uh, we don't get any cryonite out of that. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at, like, a uh, constant combat, oh, I need stuff. Let's remember to check this button this time. Uh, if you check, like, instead of the crafting menu, a constant combinator or something, uh, click on somewhere that lets you browse all the signals. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different types of core fragment, and I noticed that there is one for cryonite. But Moz is oil. I'm pretty sure if you look... Uh, look at it here. Whichever resource is full, it's going to be that type of core fragment. Oh, I don't need the space stuff right now. Thanks, but no thanks. Um, 100... And then zero here. Give me back some regular pipe, please. Was there anything else? That's probably fine. All right, so how is our rocket going? Seems to be going pretty well. Where did our solid rocket fuel go? Can we prod this? Seems like we need it. Uh... That uses solid rocket fuel, so yeah, sure. So now we're looking at... Half a ro solid rocket fuel per second, but it's never going to stop. I could probably add to that. Or we could just, you know, pick up the solid rocket fuel that we're already... Where is it? Here we go. We've got 9.1k solid rocket fuel waiting right here. How... Okay, how is it still the case that... This crude oil pickup is always full. And just down here... These crude oil storage tanks are always empty. don't understand. Oh, I wonder if it has something to do with the stack threshold. I might know what's happening here. Um, if my guess is correct, the default... Because I changed the default uh, provide and request threshold, the request threshold is too high. We're using stack size, but that doesn't apply to fluid. So should I just... Let's see. 100,000. If you do both, I wonder which it prioritizes. 
There we go. Crude oil is being delivered. Okay. So if it was only looking at request threshold, we definitely wouldn't have coal being delivered right now. Because we can't fit that much. And we're only asking for half of that. Well, that should help with oil. Um, why don't we get a train to deliver solid rocket fuel to the main base? Since we're now going through it kind of fast to launch rockets. Um, I could just connect this up here. I don't see why not. LTN stop. Uh, station pick up. That's a pickup. We want a drop off. Uh, I don't have anything specific for this. Let's just start from scratch. Logistic train stop. I guess I'll just do passive providers this time. That's not required. And then stack inserters. And then where's the logistic network? These aren't connected because this was an experiment with not having them connect. How about we just do this and this and read from the logistic network. Uh, rocket fuel specifically. I should have done an arithmetic combinator there. Uh, rocket fuel. Times one. Output. And then... This is actually a really good example of why I changed the default uh, provide and request threshold to a million. Uh, because I don't want LTN to think this is a provider station. So I could just, instead of doing like some extra circuit logic, I can just say uh, negative... I don't know, 1.6k. Let's say two train loads. That's plenty. Negative uh, 3.2k solid rocket fuel plus what we've got in the logistic network. If we had a lot in the logistic network, like more than a thousand above what we're asking for, uh, then you'd end up with a net positive signal on this green wire of greater than a thousand solid rocket fuel and LTN would then think that this thing is, this station is providing solid rocket fuel. Um, we don't want it to do that in this instance. Oh, we're missing a RoboPort. Uh, I don't want that to connect there. Can I do it like this? I actually can. I didn't know that. So I pressed shift click to remove all connections from that one and then I dragged a pole from it. And I didn't need a copper cable to deal with that. 
that was vanilla behavior, to be clear. Okay. So now you're part of the main network. Um, yeah, so having a ridiculously high default provide threshold means that this will never reach it. I could either do that or I could have like another combinator here decider that only outputs negatives. Uh, so let's see, train size is six and six, one train at a time. Uh, request threshold is one train load and that should do it, I think. It's hard to see what we're outputting on this one. Nothing, apparently. It seems there's approximately zero... Oh, I should have connected this up here. There's approximately zero rocket fuel in the logistic network at the moment. And give it a few seconds. Maybe there are no trains available. There were trains available, but only one or two. That one's doing plastic. What are you going to do? Steel. Why is nobody delivering rocket fuel? 3.2k uh, divided by 40 stacks. Yeah, no. That should definitely be enough to trigger the... Oh, I think I know what it is. I did realize that there would be a few things like this that I would have to patch after changing those defaults. Uh, solid rocket fuel. Provide stack threshold 160. That's actually already there. Hmm. I'm not sure why we're not picking this up. Do we just need more trains at this point? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, the trains are getting assigned as soon as they park, so maybe. Maybe I've got too many... Everything else is a higher priority, perhaps? Hmm. I think we need more trains. If you check the planet list with you, you can see what kind of core fragments a planet has. You. Uh, is this the same as... what I said earlier about the... the first thing that you see being the core fragments? Oh, it shows it here. Right. Cool. Primary resource. Barrel. Iron. So we definitely haven't seen something that uh, gives us cryonite yet. Okay. I think we need more trains. Why don't we remove that old smelting facility and add another depot. Actually, there's already way too much traffic in this area. We should add a depot somewhere else. More trains, yay. Yes, indeed. Um, let's get some more rail. I don't think there's much point in me updating the 
depot blueprint very much at this point. There might, there'll definitely be some minor tweaks, but I should probably use the same blueprint. Why are all of these guys... What happened here? Oh my lord. I think they're all just going back to recharge. Yeah, they are. Oh my goodness. So much green science. Each of these chests is still looking for 9.7k. Alright. Uh, let's pick up plenty of rail. And... I wanted to figure out a depot design that fit very nicely inside one of our existing rail blocks, but it didn't go very well last time. So for now, I'll just put one here. Um, depot. Cargo train depot. That looks decent. Uh, maybe we'll just connect it over th this way for now. Is that coal? I completely forgot there was coal there. How many coals? How many coal mines have I forgotten existed? I don't normally worry too much about coal, but we actually ran out this time. Okay. Um. Depot. Cargo train depot. Don't really want to put it over the coal. We can't flip it because it's a. Uh... Oh, we could do it here easily. That's what's so great about these um, two-way roundabouts. Supercharger research might be of interest to your boss. Supercharger. Oh, I think I saw this. Aeroframe scaffold, heavy girder, holmium cable, holmium solenoid, supply area 64 by 64, construction area 64 by 64, robot recharge rate 64 <laughs> times 90 megawatts. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, we're going to need to do a rocket fuel pickup, I mean drop off here. Uh, I definitely want to change this part of the design. We probably don't need that much throughput for the trash stations anymore, but it definitely doesn't hurt. Can I click on this? Hagen. Is that what I think it is? It's Cryonite. Beautiful. Frozen puddles, treeless, moist, colorful, flat. Uh, we got very little solar panel. Uh, quite a bit of Delta V. Zero biters. Amazing. Uh, robot interference is pretty bad. Day-night cycle is 16 minutes. Uh, pretty large. How do I see where it is in this view? I mean this view. Was it Hagen? Yeah. Alright, good to know we won't have to leave the solar system just to get a reliable supply of ice. Okay. So, I don't think this has to go all the way over here. In fact... We really only need the trash train, which is vanilla, 
that doesn't stop at these depots to be able to go this way. So we can get rid of all of these um, turns like so. Whoops. And then trash train. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about double belting this. We could fit this pretty much anywhere, actually. Yeah, we could do it like this. It could just be one more. Alright, cool. Like so. And then vanilla train stop. Uh, some chests. And this goes here. Stack inserters. Green wire. And trash pickup. Enable disable anything greater than zero. I think I just made our trash train stop. No, they're probably fine. I think they were going somewhere else. Okay, cool. Do we not? Okay, there we go. We'll need some power, which it looks like it's already connected. Not quite. And we'll need a drop-off for rocket fuel. Um, can we maybe put the yellow and red belt is fuel. Okay. And this is only for long trains. I just got to double check we've set that correctly. Limit trains one, that's not what we're looking for. Minimum train length six, maximum train length six. Otherwise we would have to worry about where the locomotive is. And then I think I'll add the rocket fuel drop off just here. And we just need a handful of chests for this, I think. We'll do the same layout as with the other resources, why not? I guess I could have just converted, um, used one of the existing ones, but nah, it's fine. Okay. So this needs to connect up here. I don't have any yellow belt because I don't use yellow belt at this point. Um, I would just upgrade plan all of this, but we've got some weaving going on. We can't use the blue where there's a red. So I think I'll go back to get some belt. And we'll do another rocket fuel drop off? Did we not... Have we still not had a train over here? Well, I guess we don't know if this is going to work just yet. It's probably fine. Okay. 
Okay, so we're requesting one train load of rocket fuel. Uh, I think I'll use green wire, actually. That just barely doesn't reach, and it's slightly upsetting. Maybe I can just move this down a little bit. Nope, same thing over here. Oh look, a power pole. This is normal, this is fine. Okay, that'll do. And we kind of need to make this a priority. Hi, what's this? This is space exploration. And we're making a... Okay, so that station is configured correctly. It was just too low priority. So we need more trains. Uh, we need some yellow belt and red belt. Well, mostly just red undergrounds. Uh, yeah, this is space exploration, a mod that adds quite a lot of stuff to Factorio. What is NE? Do you mean SE? Whoops. Nemesis XKL. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And Hemp QA Flag. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well also. I mean, uh, good to see you again also. Both of those things. Alright, uh, let me just pick up some items. Yellow belt. And red... No, don't take it. Uh, 100. Just give me one stack of everything. This might have been easier, actually. I'm sure I'll have too much of something after this. Alright, let's go back. And then... Went past it. Uh, I forgot to put an inserter here, and the substation doesn't quite reach it. Wait, what? No, they're... that's wrong. No, it's just because there's not enough room on the belt. Okay, cool. Let's do a bit of... A lane balance, uh, belt balance here, just to make sure we've got a bit more storage. Still, um, a chest is bigger than a cargo wagon, weirdly enough, so I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I see. I guess that makes sense. Because they're all going through each other. Alright, I'm going to reduce the request amount here. Actually, we're already setting it so we request a full train load. I have to set this to at least one train load. So if there's any rocket fuel here, the train won't come. In the chests, that is. Uh, why are we not... Did I forget to bring... I didn't. Why do we not have fast underground? Because I... We've actually... We actually need more than 50. Wow, okay. Let's go get it, I guess. Picker Dollies? The name of the mod for moving stuff around? Yes, indeed. Picker Dollies is very useful. Uh, default keys, point at something, hold shift, and press the cursor keys, the arrow keys. Does work with selection or just single entities? Uh, only single entities at a time. Uh, 
but it does preserve wire connections, combinator settings, etc. Recipes, modules in buildings, everything. So that can be quite useful. Uh, I should have brought trains with me. Whoops. But we can definitely add... Where are you going? Oh, you're leaving. But you're having trouble with that. I didn't signal this. Um, I'm not requesting any signals. That's bad. Uh, I can use ghosts to design at least for the moment. Okay. Seems like we've placed all the belts. I'll need uh, burner inserters as well. And that should be it. I need eight trains as well. Don't forget the trains this time. Why do I only have six big poles? Big poles. Missing copper cable. Copper cable is not in the logistic network. That's odd and alarming. Why don't I just... Do that for the moment. Okay, don't forget the trains. Uh, I would like to make eight of them. Let's see if there's enough. Definitely. I'm going to run out of inventory space, though. Uh, let's see. We need 16 of these. And four times that of cargo wagons. There's only five, though. Cargo wagon less than 20. Oh, I see. I wonder where the other cargo wagons are. Uh, four times eight is 32. My brain is running out of steam. 32. Oh, wait, we need 64 cargo wagons. That might be a little bit of a problem. I guess let's just make what we can for the moment. Uh, and just in case there's any trains coming here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Adding the signals is going to bring more trains. Let's turn off the roboports. Once I add those signals, this will stop being one big sector. And the trains will realize that they can come here. Possibly running me over. Possibly running into the trains that I'm trying to build right now. Um... That's all we need. Can I actually just blueprint the train? There we go. Can I paste it on top of this? Nope. Should have thought of that sooner. And... Train go burr. Oh, they're going to do it in a totally random-ish order. 
Did they actually just only finish one train? They did. All right, we need one, two, three, four, eight, plus 12, 20 more cargo wagons, two more locomotives. And why is this missing a burner inserter? There we go. Oh, because there was no... Oh, because this doesn't actually... A train does not actually go here. This is for the trash pickup. Typical bot behavior? Yes, indeed. So we need four, five, six, seven, thirteen more cargo wagons. And why are you still... Oh, that's probably why. Okay, let's go back and get some cargo wagons. And that should be more than enough trains for a while. I should probably create a depot blueprint that includes the trains. That seems a little bit more intelligent. Cargo wagons go. 20 should be enough, I'm pretty sure. We were looking for 13, right? And now that's all that's left is to tell them they can go. And away you go. Fantastic. The fact that we're immediately seeing them assigned schedules um, really highlights that maybe we didn't have enough trains. Uh, some of these guys are still trying to leave. If I put the signals further down, it'll be a lot more obvious. when they are trying to depart. Okay. Move signals from here. Whoa. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious now that all these guys are trying to leave. And let's just check that trash pickup works. It does. And now we have a taxi to go home. I didn't realize when I designed the trash pickup train that I was accidentally building a taxi since it always goes back to the main robo network. Maybe I should have thought of this. That's a bit of unnecessary extra maneuvering this train has to do. I could add rail to let them all go this way as well, I guess. Trash train is really taking its time. Too much traffic. I don't know to what extent we've caused some massive traffic problems in the long run, or if we're more just catching up right now because we've now got enough trains and we've suddenly got a flood of um, 
uh, schedules to me. Do you ever read your game notifications to deal with missing chest or construction items? You're missing storage in the block to the west. Hold on a sec. Block to the west. Do you mean this one? I don't see any bots in motion. This one? I'm pretty sure we have storage chests here. Yeah, we... Oh. What? What? Uh, what? Okay, there's definitely storage still available, but why do we have 48 artillery shells in a chest over here? That seems kind of weird. LTN block thingo? LTN block thingo. Oh, this thing. Oh. When did this happen? Oh, hello trash train. Now that I don't want to leave. Um, so you're holding on to crafting combinators. I removed some from up here, but... What network are you even part of? How did you get here? What? I genuinely have no idea. That... There was never a roboport here. How... Just chuck down the chest for them? But I want to know how they got here. Oh, we're full on iron. In our Omni smelters. The new ones. And we've actually got iron in the old Omni smelters as well. Fantastic. Oh, that is a mess. E yeah, that is actually really bad. How did it get like this? They never did this before. Rogue Roboports? <laughs> Bots are becoming sentient? They went on strike? Yeah, apparently. I don't think I will ever figure out how these bots got here. Because I don't even think there was a time that I might have had a robopot here. Well, time to come home. Except I can't... There we go. That's really weird. Rogue Roboport Resistance, <laughs> putting down pirate ports to confuse T-Hacks, yeah, definitely. So we're now seeing some trains not immediately, oh, never mind, I was wrong. I guess it's okay if... Nah, this is terrible. But because we've got extra trains, this shouldn't be a problem. I, I, at least I think we've got extra trains. Um, definitely a feature that I think I should add, though, is the trains being able to leave and arrive in different directions. Maybe when I design a new... Um, Maybe when I design a new, uh, why am I blanking on this? Depot system that fits inside of a rail block. Instead of trying to be compact, I should try to make them able to arrive and leave at as many different angles as possible. Ideally, we would have have it set up to give them fuel. Oh, wait, what? Since when can we line this up the same? I've tried to do this left to right and it hasn't worked. Hmm. 
What? I feel like I I'm feeling gaslit right now. What the hell? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, five. That we need six. Maybe that's why. No, we can definitely. Oh, uh, yep, there it is. That's interesting. So if you have, if you have a train that is three or five, if you have a train that's an odd length, uh, you could set up stations to have the cargo wagons or whatever line up the same with the train stops facing one way or the other. But if they're even length, um, it's going to be one tile off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. It still might be worth doing it like this. We could probably have... Yeah, as long as it's not on the far end, we could have fuel input for whichever cargo wagon... Uh, I'm not cargo wagon, a uh, locomotive. We could have the trains able to approach the stop from either direction, and we could have them able to leave in either direction. If we do this in the middle of a rail block, uh, we could probably fit quite a few stations and also leave them with lots of options for where to come in and go out. So we'll get way less of a traffic jam. Because right now they're all bottlenecking on this. Um, I could also make these stations, uh, these depot stops lower priority. I'm pretty sure I can put in a negative the depot priority here. And they'll always prefer to go to the other depots. Hold on. That don't they all don't they always come back to the same depot spot, though? Or am I... Not necessarily. I guess they do their run and then they come back to a depot, right? Once they've finished the drop-off, they'll queue up one of the depots. Not sure. A wagon is two by six with one spot in between. Uh, yep. Only 24 more to fix. Wait, 24 more what? Oh, this? Oh. That seems bad. Um, can we maybe get some storage over here, please? If we have any construction bots that are able to move. Thank you for not giving up, you two. Oh, wow, that is an avalanche of bots. Um, oh, that's right, because I set this to be deconstructed. Uh, we do have cons uh, we do have storage chests down here, but apparently they weren't enough. Uh, let's add some more. Make absolutely sure, and then we'll have to make sure we set up the trash requests properly to get rid of most of this. Well, all of it, eventually. Seems like we've finished our research. Um, I'm pretty sure there's literally nothing left that we can do until we get the next 
Type in science pack. Other than spamming swarm safety. Okay, yeah, it... Oh, never mind. I was going to say it looks like dropping the depot priority did help, but actually all of these are taken at the moment. Well, we've traded one problem for another. If I get the chance before the stream tomorrow, I think I'll work on a blueprint for a nice depot that fits inside this rail block. And as I said before, rather than cramming as many stops in here as possible, uh, the main goal will be throughput in all directions, or at least two directions, mostly. You filled all slots in the depot with trains, so unless they find a new spot, they'll probably come back. Yeah, that's what I was suspecting earlier, that once they stop here, when they're given a schedule, that schedule will return them to the same spot. So unless this gets blocked or something, I guess I could do that. Uh-oh. I thought that train was trying to get here. So now they're going somewhere else. And... Put these back. And suddenly they're coming back. What the hell? Homeless trains? <laughs> no. I would never. Okay, that's going to require some attention. We need to make some more depot stops before we... I, I think I would remove the train stops or just turn off the combinators for a moment. And then work on this rail here, and maybe up here as well. Well, we can't do it up here, not with this design. Alright, let's see who else is streaming Factorio for today. And maybe we'll give someone new a go today. With that coal above it as well, it's a hard spot, yeah. I just wanted to get it done for now. Uh, but yeah, we've made some progress. We've got... Well, I need to do more of these um, delivery cannons. Uh, technically, we have rocket telemetry automated to come up here, though it will take a little while before that actually happens. Uh, currently, we are at 1.3k. We need almost 20 times that before we actually launch, otherwise we're wasting uh, capsule and cargo parts and fuel and stuff. Bye T-Hacks, thanks for the stream, no worries. Thanks for hanging out, evil plot. And give me just a moment. Alright, we're going to give this person a try today. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions or requests, by all means let me know. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Deholt. Also, Elv2 Silent Techo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Take care, guys. Thanks, Samza.
case. Uh, okay, let's right. see. Is that...